and one item at the Nueces County Commissioner's Court meeting that's been sparking some debate among county commissioners, $38 million energy performance contract, which includes $14 million worth of repairs to the Richard and Borchard Fairgrounds. With the pandemic continuing and events being rescheduled or just canceled altogether, commissioners are going back and forth on whether or not to approve the necessary funding. Let's go ahead and check back in with our Michael Gibson. He's joining us live once again tonight from the Noasis County Courthouse. Michael? Well, commissioners, along with County Judge Barbara Canales, feel that now is the time to get a lot of these projects done because the county has simply delayed too much of this maintenance work and too many of these repairs. And now they say they've got a big mess on their hands. Here's some of the stuff we're talking about. You know, there was $100 million in capital improvement cost that the county had identified. Now that list was eventually knocked down to $38 million in total, and they really focus on the courthouse, the jail, the annex, the juvenile detention center, and the fairgrounds. There are a number of improvements they're looking at making to the fairgrounds, which include a new roof, ADA improvements, and better lighting inside and outside the facility. Here's why the county judge says this all needs to be done right now. This is a much more holistic approach, and it really showcases the fact that this county has put off maintenance for too long, and that's why you have everything failing at once. Commissioners did vote to approve the deal. The next step is to try and get the best financing deal that they can find to make the repairs largely to failing electrical, mechanical, or plumbing issues. Now, that's because this deal really hinges on finding a great financing deal because the company, ABM Building, who is doing this deal, says that if it can get low enough rates, it could save the county $7 million in total, which they could use to pay back most of this loan that they're going to have to get to do what they say have been a, a number of uh, mechanical, uh, electrical issues that has just simply been ignored for too many years. Leslie? All right, Michael, thank you so much.